Ja, maar wij zijn het al een beetje. Wij zijn het al een beetje. Dat is het al een beetje. Ik uh, ga voor de, voor de laatste keer de vergadering, uh, of de zitting openen, zo moet ik dat eigenlijk zeggen. En, uh, ik geef het woord aan Bill om uh, een aantal uh, dingen tegen de mensen te vertellen. Ja. Bedankt uh, meneer de voorzitter. In het Engels. Uh, what an experience, what an experience indeed. Two young men uh, heading off to uh, Asia, uh, thinking probably uh, that it's, it's going to be uh, close to a Dutch experience, totally, totally different. Singing the uh, national anthem of Thailand every morning among all the Thais, listening to uh, different stories about all different things, telling them all about uh, Holland and what Holland is like, etc., etc. Wonderful experience, extremely difficult experience. An experience that not only will you never forget, but will always have an influence on you. And what you see is, uh, we lost them for, for six months. Six months they disappeared from our radar screens. We couldn't see them anymore. Every, almost every Tuesday morning I was drinking my coffee at home, my free day on Tuesday. I have to do other uh, things. And next of all, my computer starts ringing. It's Jeremy and uh, <laughs> Stephen. And, and, but the funny thing is, normally students in, in, uh, in foreign countries would have a huge amount of uh, questions. Uh, what they had was uh, a report about how they were doing, uh, what they were doing, etc., etc. They didn't have any questions. The next time they rang, we were talking again, no questions. Then I, uh, then I talked to uh, Thailand, Mrs. Yosita, and when I talked to Mrs. Yosita, she was ecstatic. Ecstatic means extremely happy. And why was she extremely happy? Because she had two star players <laughs> from Holland which, she, which she, she found totally amazing. I said to Mrs. Yosita at the end of the uh, six months, I said, Mrs. Yosita, what did you think of the boys? Pedro. I said, what? She said, Pedro. Now, after about five minutes listening, I figured that she said, brilliant. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant yes, absolutely. Uh, so we were talking and uh, from her conversation she told me that the boys did a wonderful job. All the information that they, uh, that they discovered on their trip, their marketing uh, research trip, immediately went from Mrs. Yosita to the top of the uh, company. Why? Because they found it important, they found it well investigated. Uh, and, and highly uh, usable for the uh, company. So I said to Mrs. Yosita, well, what do you think we should give the two guys? And Mrs. Yosita says, excellent, which means excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I says, so thank you very much, Mrs. Yosita. Would you like to turn that into a number? She says, ten. I says, what? <laughs> ten. ten. <laughs> and normally when, when somebody gives you a 10, especially in Thailand, it's normally a Dutch 6 or 7. It's not, it's not, actually, it's not actually a Dutch 10, it's normally a Dutch a 6 or 7. I mean, the Thai, Thailanders are a little bit like Hans Christian Andersen. They tend to sort of make it greater than what it is. So I kept talking to Mrs. Yosita. I said, Mrs. Yosita, a 10, are you joking me? I says, let's get serious. We're talking about college students, final year. We're talking about a serious mark. She says a 10. And I asked her why a 10. And she gave me a whole list of points that the two boys, if they had listened to, if they had heard, they would have had heads uh, this size and their feet would have been way off the ground. Everything was, was amazingly positive. And so, uh, after fighting with Mrs. Yosita, or fighting, <laughs> after arguing about the tent for about half an hour, 
she was still convinced it should be a 10. Okay, I says, Mrs. Yosita, it's a 10. And we talked about it today, and the two boys deserve their 10. So it's a 10 for the worst that the time. That's the first part. Before your, 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 your chicken skin starts moving all around the place, that's the first part. Okay. That's the first part of the point. There are three parts. That's for the work they've done in uh, Thailand. The second part of the, of the uh, final score comes from the report that they handed. Now, this is not your normal report. If I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to start a war, I could use something. This is a weapon of mass destruction. It's huge. There are over 200 pages in this report. It took me all day yesterday and all night last night to read this report, and I knew what was in it before I got it. My eyes are still sore from reading this report yesterday, and I was looking for weak points, and there are a couple of weak points in the report, a couple of weak points. But if you look at the strong points, They've, sh they've, they've thrown light onto the Asian market. The Asian market for the company was total darkness. And what they've done was they've given the reality, this is the reality of the Asian market. This is exactly the, what it looks like. And that's what they've given the company. For the weak points, we've taken a couple of little marks off and we've left them written eight. Oh. Now an eight is a huge An eight is a huge mark. It's a brilliant mark. So we've got a ten and we've got an eight. And now we go to the presentation. And what we see in the presentation, we all see. What we see in the report only the teachers read, and what Mrs. Yosita sees, only Mrs. Yosita sees. But today we've all been witness to the presentation. And the presentation, what we found was it was good. It was clear. It was a wee bit static. A wee bit static means there wasn't a lot of dynamite. There wasn't a lot of movement. And what we saw in the sheets was there was a huge amount of information coming across in the sheets. Difficult for the audience if you're talking to the audience. But it was a good presentation. And to, uh, to make a long story short, we've given it an eight. Now, when you put all those marks together, you've got 40% for the work, 40% for the wonderful weapon of mass destruction, and you've got 20% uh, for the presentation. You come up with something like 8.8, .8, if I'm correct. 8.8 .8 will be rounded off as a 9. Now, let me just, just before you start clapping again, that must be a smoker. That must be a smoker. <laughs> Uh, when you look at this, when you look at the scores, sometimes every maybe every five years you get a student that has a ten, and he might get a seven and a six and a half, or he might get a seven and a half, six and a half. And every twenty or thirty years, or maybe hundred years, you've got a student who gets a ten and an eight and a six and a half, and then once in every couple of trillion light years, you get a student who has a 10 and a double 8. This is a fantastic achievement. A very warm round of applause for the two boys. Uh, you may congratulate them and shoot pictures of them and blow smoke in their face outside. Voor dat dat gebeurt, ik sluit de vergadering. Dank jullie voor je aanwezigheid. En ik zou graag willen dat we dat jullie ook, uh, het bedrijf waar jullie hier geweest zijn, uh, bedanken voor uh, datgene wat ze jullie geboden hebben. Want die team die komt ook voor de deel van de inzet van het, uh, van het bedrijf. En jullie proficiat. Ja, dat is het. Echt goed, jongen. Proficiat.